Honeybees are important actors in the ecosystems we all are depending on. They ensure the prospering of plants and in consequence also the well-being of animals due to the enormous amount of daily pollination flights. With the project Hyphopolis, natural bees take a significant step into the age of digitalization as implementing modern technology into the hive could prevent the species from extinction, even in a century of ecosystem collapses. In Hyphopolis, scientists gathered to design the beehive of the future. The team started to develop a novel type of hive that allows the integration of modern technology and which is also accepted by the bees, starting by studying the design principles from nature itself. Not only the hive had to be reinvented, but also a novel experimental environment had to be built. The Hyphopolis Field Laboratory in the Botanical Gardens in Graz, Austria. It will host many of the Hyphopolis experimental setups and scientific technologies. During the first project year of Hyphopolis, several hive prototypes were produced, exploring innovative materials and fabrication procedures. The important question was which material to choose, as it had to be approved by the bees. In parallel, the material must also allow to integrate and embed all required mechatronic equipment into the hive. The scientists built several prototypes, some built from wood, investigating different space topologies, given by composing the hive from different compartments and modules, which is an important aspect for commercial beekeeping. The final Hyphopolis hive will be made out of sustainable materials and will have a tree trunk-like shape. The project team has followed a paradigm of generative design that is a principle in which computer algorithms produce the shape of the hive, which is then finally 3D printed and which builds the substrate for additional organic materials to grow. Therefore, different organic materials were developed and evaluated. Finally, a special fungus grown on natural waste was chosen to fill the cavities, which were 3D printed from wooden substrates. This Hyphopolis hive resembles the natural habitats of honeybees, for example, a large cavity in a hollow tree, while it is simultaneously enhanced by mechatronics to elevate honeybees in the age of digitalization. Being able to modulate the bees' behavior is one of the key outcomes of the project. One of the methodologies to do so is the Hive's revolutionary traffic control system. This allows users to guide the bees within the Hive to specific compartments, which makes bee-friendly Hive manipulations possible. In addition, these traffic flows are important for assessing the colony's health and well-being. Influencing the colony's behavior is one of the project's goals. Thus, the project team has developed a methodology they call ecosystem hacking, as it allows to regulate the location, the timing and the intensity of the pollination service which the bees provide. This way, they can be protected from flying to foraging sites that are potentially dangerous for them. In order to do so, the researchers have developed a set of methodologies to influence the bee dances. Bees use these dances to recruit other foragers to specific food sources. A novel robotic device looking like a robot bee is being developed to imitate the bee's dances. It will be integrated within the beehive's so-called dance floor module to stimulate the natural bees to follow its advices. Secondly, the bee's behavior will be influenced by suppressing recruitment dances, 
for instance through specially composed vibration signals that stop bees from moving, thus also from performing recruitment dances. For monitoring the hive, the team also invented a novel camera device to be integrated into a conventional honeybee comb frame. This camera device provides an inside view of the honeybee colony's life, comb development, brood development, and of course the bees themselves can be observed. A new opportunity for traditional beekeepers as the device fits into conventional hives. For the final Hyphopolis hive, the project team has started to develop a set of cameras monitoring the hive from different angles. Additionally, experiments to integrate various sensors, like heat and humidity sensors, have been developed, and prototypes of actuators for vibration, air flows or temperature have been investigated to be later integrated into the Hyphopolis hive. A concept the researchers named organismic augmentation. Data plays an important role in Hyphopolis. On the one hand, environmental data is collected and served to the hive. On the other hand, large amounts of data are also collected inside of the hive. Embedded mathematical models have been developed in order to validate and to understand the data and to ultimately support the collective decision-making of the honeybees in a way that strengthens the colony and their well-being, what ultimately boosts ecosystems by pollination flights. The Hephopolis team was also active in sharing its novel approach and first accomplishments within the scientific community and with the broader public, as several events, like the Vienna Design Week, were visited. Design and aesthetics are an important key factor for the project, as the new technology has also to be aesthetically pleasing to people, while being sustainable in parallel, in order to create its own market niches. The project addressed the maker community at specific events in Copenhagen and Vienna, focusing on disseminating its innovative material and design methodologies to this community. Besides these activities, the project team has developed a novel community hive to allow showcasing parts of the Hyphopolis technologies to beekeepers and to bee breeders, which were also addressed through presentations and lectures. Exploitation options of innovative Hyphopolis technologies were explored with various stakeholder groups. More challenging years lay ahead of the international Hyphopolis team, as the goal is set high, developing the beehive of the future.